Meghan Markle news. Meghan Markle suddenly saw the message from Prince Harry. The message tells Meghan Prince Harry's habit of being funny and adorable when he switched smiles for emoticons. Journalists Omid Scobie and Caroline Durand explains how the Duchess of Sussex was charmed by the Duke's messages when they first met in the summer of 2016. The Duke was keen to prove to his now wife that he was very interested, the authors claim in new excerpts released by People on Thursday. In the bombshell book, the authors wrote, his messages were often short and full of images, in particular the ghost emoji, which she often used instead of a smiley face. But Meghan found his texting etiquette funny and adorable, just like the prince, according to a source, Harry texted Meghan as soon as she got back to her hotel room, following a night with friends at London's Soho House. Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, Henry Charles Albert David, born on 15 September, 1984, is known by his friendly nickname as Harry. According to the biography, Harry was the first to say I love you in the relationship, while friends of the royal couple revealed they were immediately obsessed with each other. The pair felt a palpable attraction after their first date, with the Duke reportedly left in a trance and Meghan telling friends this could have legs. The authors of the book are firm supporters of the couple, who wanted to write the book to correct the record and bring more visibility to their charitable efforts. While writing the book, the writers spoke to over 100 sources including close friends of Harry and Meghan's, royal aides and palace staff past and present with all the details in the biography being contrasted by at least two sources. The title explores new claims about issues between the couple and the royal family, with a source saying it will open old wounds at a time when everyone wanted to move on. The book also details how Meghan was left frustrated and emotional after a palace aide scolded her for wearing a necklace with her and Harry's initials before they were engaged. The pictures were taken in December 2016, just day after Harry made a 1,700-mile detour to see her on his way back to the UK from his tour of the Caribbean. But according to a source close to the royal couple, following the publication of the images, Meghan received an advisory phone call from a palace aide. She was advised that wearing such a necklace only served to encourage the photographers to keep pursuing such images, and new headlines. During the conversation the Duchess reportedly said very little choosing to simply listen to the council. But following the phone call, the Duchess felt frustrated and emotional. While she knew the aide had good intentions, the surreal experience of having someone from her boyfriend's office tell her what kind of jewellery to wear or not to smile at a photographer was too much. She said, I can't win. They make out like I'm to blame for these pictures, that it looks like I'm encouraging them, that me even acknowledging the cameras may not be sending the right message. Just yesterday, I didn't know what to say, everyone on social media said that I looked miserable. Because I ignore photographers.